Well, for me, it really was a little bit of a slower process. I just kept serving in church leadership, kept growing, and it just became evident that I, that was more fruitful than anything else I was trying to do. So I took that revelation to my pastor and really confirmed together, I want to pursue a life as a minister. And coming through that experience, can you tell us a little bit about your ordination experience? For me, it, it was awesome. It, I got certified with the Assemblies of God, planted a church, and everything got so busy that I was not able to finish my classes for ordination. So over several years, I kept mixing a class in there. And so it was very exciting only a couple of years ago, now after planting a church, 13 years earlier, we were able to be ordained. And it was at a minister's retreat. It was just an incredible honor um, to the ceremony. It was just really touching. It really drove home the privilege of what we do um, as ministers and the sacredness of it. And so we, we took a little different journey, but when we finally got to ordination, that night was a night we'll never forget. Can you tell us a little bit about who preached and who kind of prayed over you at that service? Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, that night, Derry Northrup shared, which is really special for me because he's always been a guy I've looked to nationally as a model for a church like Church on the Rise. Um, and... That night, uh, Chad Harvey and his wife prayed over Lisa and I, and it was just an incredible experience. Again, just driving home the importance of being set apart as an ordained minister. And what would you say to those, or what advice would you give to those who are being ordained? Well, in, when you're in the process, take it serious. Uh, everything you're learning through these classes, through the practicum that you do for the months that you're working with other pastors, pay attention, learn, tuck those things away in your heart, because one day you will use all those things at different times. Um, and so that night, it's just a special moment for you and your wife to uh, enjoy the fruit of all the hard work you've put in, uh, the hours and hours of training and and learning from others to become an ordained minister.